Okay, in this video, we're going to go over a special right triangle called a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Remember, there are two uh, geometry labels, two types of triangles, special right triangles. One is a 45, 45, 90, and the other one's a 30, 60, 90. So let's just go over the 30, 60, 90 in this one. Now, <clears throat> you can always use a Pythagorean theorem to figure out the sides of a tr any right triangle, right? So we know that a squared plus b squared will always equal c squared. And remember, the c is always the hypotenuse of the triangle. It's this side that's opposite the 90 degree angle, right? But the nice thing about special right triangles is that they have a formula that you can follow, so you really don't even have to really do use a lot of math to figure out what the lengths are. Now let's, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through these steps to show you how, the, how to figure out the formula. All right, so let's start. Let's go opposite the 30 degree angle right now. Let's just call this little side, this short leg, let's call it A. I'm sorry, I just went, and made, went, went ahead and made it A squared, and I want to make it just A for right now. So let me just get that out of there. There we go. Now, again, according to this formula up here, this squared plus this squared should equal that squared. However, I don't know how to do that, so because I'm missing information. So I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to actually take this triangle, and I'm going to, like, flip it over. And that's called a reflection, if you remember that. So, And I'm going to make another 30, 60, 90 right there. So this just becomes the 30 degrees, and this flips all the way over here and becomes 60 degrees. Now this is called an equiangular, and let me show you what that means. This angle is 60, this angle is 60, and 30 and 30 makes this angle here all the way across for this larger triangle also 60 degrees. This is called an equi equilateral, which means that all the sides are equal, equiangular, which means that all the angles are equal. Now, look what happens here. Since I know that this is A, I know that it flipped over, this is also A. In other words, this whole side now is equal to 2A. And since we have an equiangular equilateral triangle, we know that this side is also 2A, and this side is also 2A. Okay? Now let's go back and cover up that one little flip that we did. And what we now have, we now know that in a regular 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, and this is true for all of, all of them, as long as the, as long as this is 60, as long as this is a right angle, this one has to be 30. In all 30, 60, 90 degree triangles, this short leg is always half of the hypotenuse. Okay? Which is actually kind of helpful to us, isn't it? So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to put in a squared plus b squared. But instead of C, I'm going to put in 2A quantity squared, okay? And let's figure out what that's equal to. We're going to solve for B, and then we're going to see how that works. So let's work this out. A squared plus B squared. Let's square 2A, and you should get 4, because you square that and you square that. 4a squared, okay? I'm going to subtract a squared from both sides. And that's going to give me b squared is equal to 3a squared minus 1a squared is 3, excuse me, 4a squared minus 1a squared is 3a squared. I'm going to take the square root of both sides to get just b.
and I'm going to end up with B is equal to, now, <clears throat> over here I can remember I can divide this up into two different parts, Any, as long as it's all multiplication. I can say radical 3 times radical A squared, and of, of these two, I can find that the square root of A squared is just A, so I'm going to have A radical 3. And I'm going to go back and put it up into this triangle. And there you have it. In any 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, if this is A, the hypotenuse will always be 2A, and the long leg will be the A times radical 3. Now let's go ahead and show you an example of a problem where that would work. Let's take this 30, 60, 90. I'm freehanding this so they're not perfect by any means. There we go. And let's say that this side over here is 3. I can immediately just fill in knowing this formula. If this is 3, this is 2 times 3. If this is 3, this is 3 times radical 3. And boom, there is your 30, 60, 90 degree triangle with each of the sides figured out. Now let's see if it actually works with the Pythagorean theorem. Let's prove it. I know that this squared plus this squared should equal that squared. Let's work it out. 3 squared is 9. 3 squared here is 9. And when you square a square root, you just simply make those disappear. That's 36. And I'm going to get 9 plus 27 is 36. And sure enough, 9 plus 27 is 36. Proving that this little formula here is always correct. Okay? Now I want to do one last one for you. Maybe this is going to make it just a little bit longer. But I want to show you something. I guess gave nice even numbers here, right? But what if I did this? What if I gave you this as, I don't know, let's say 2 radical 3, okay? For this length, I know that. Well, I know that 2 radical 3 should be equal to 2a, right, according to my formula. So I'm going to say 2 radical 3 equals 2a. Again, I'm solving for the a. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. That goes away. I'm going to get a here. That goes away, so I'm going to get radical 3. That means that this side is radical 3, and that this side is radical 3, which is my a, times radical 3, which I know is just th radical 3 squared, or simply 3. See how I did that? Okay, I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, 30, 60, 90 degree triangles are great. Just memorize this formula and you should be all set.